Hey everybody, I'm in Pingyong, New City. Uh, I'm about to head into the... Oh geez, it's like Nye Trian Lam... No, Chong Tam Hoi Nye Trian Lam. It basically it means a convention center or event center. I'm about to see a show in here, but I thought I'd just talk a little bit about New City. In Vietnam, it's pretty, it's pretty rare to see a big modern building like this. Lots of space around it, not that many people. Um, notice there's spaces space all around here it's um, it's got big huge wide roads and uh, just giant lots tons of space everywhere Binyong new city started being built in 2015 uh, there's investors from Japan Singapore Australia uh, they all worked with Vietnamese companies uh, specifically the Becamex corporation and um, they created this city which will ultimately become the administrative center of for Binjung province. Right now there really isn't much here. Uh, fortunately that's that's changing pretty quickly. There's new restaurants, there's a new hotel, university, there's even a new bus system that just went into operation not too long ago. So I'm on the Beckmix Tokyo bus in New City. Uh, I'm actually headed back down to Kuyoma and uh, this bus is pretty impressive actually. It's unlike any other bus I've ridden in Vietnam. It's energy efficient, they announce all the stops in English and in Vietnamese. They also, the driver will do a check and he'll announce it over the, the PA system, like check, 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 and he's checking all his mirrors. Um, I guess just to let everybody know that he's being safe. You can hear it right there. In Vietnam, they believe that if you build it, the people will come. As of now, there are quite a few vacant residential spaces in the city. Uh, some housing projects have been put on hold. Many people who work in the industrial parks and the administrative center, which is right here behind me, they'll live outside the city just because it's cheaper. But one building that has had some success is this Japanese-style apartment building. It's called Sora Gardens. And uh, I actually got in there earlier today and had a look at it. Nice view. Yeah. What what percentage of about, rooms are occupied? About sixty to seventy percent. Yeah. Yes. Is it a, a lot of Japanese? Uh, yes, yeah, Japanese and Korean. Yeah. Yes. We have the customer come to the lobby and they check on you, and you see in here you uh, Cool. <laughs> I think New City has a long ways to go. Uh, they're estimating that it'll be complete and it will be the administrative center of Binyong by 2020. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll hit that deadline, but um, I think eventually it will be successful. There's a lot of things that, a lot of headaches that come with living in Vietnam that this place doesn't have. The noise, it's not that noisy. The almost getting hit by a car. Wait, no, that's not true. Um, there's, there's a lot more space um, and, and it is pretty green. It's, there's a nice big park and just quite a few green spaces. I guess we'll have to see though. If I was a gambling man, I might buy up one of these vacant apartments across the street, across the highway there, close to the park, close to the administrative center. I think in time it could be worth some money, but uh, right now it's a little bit too much of a gamble for me. It could work. It could be good. I don't know.